So the first step in adding a killer car is just to add a car and get it moving. And there's a number of, of layers of difficulty with this. So let's start with the easiest possible version. So first I need to create a new sprite. So I'm going to choose a sprite from the library. That's what this little, this little icon will do. And I'm going to go to transportation. And I think I'm going to start out with this convertible right here. Uh, you can start out with any of those. It doesn't uh, really matter. And so I'm going to put this car down here. Yeah, now you'll see this car looks really big compared to our frog. Um, I'm, I'm going to try and make that car a little bit smaller. So I'm just going to shrink it down a little bit. There we go. That's a little bit better. Now you can see where you could definitely have room for lots of different lanes here, but I'm just going to start with one. And for the basic um, for the basic car movement, I want to make sure that the the rear bumper of the car is not quite touching the edge. So this is just the basic movement. We're going to change this later when we get to a more advanced area. So here I am. I've got my car ready to go. I'm going to go to events and say when the green flag is clicked. I'm going to go to control and grab a forever. And then I'm going to insert a starting position in, in between there. So where do I want it to go? I want it to go to this location. So where it is now, I want it to always go to that location at the very beginning of the game. And I want it to point in the direction going this way. So I want it to point right, which is 90. And so that's all set up now. <clears throat> so at the beginning of every game, it will always do that. And now I want it to move steadily in a straight line right across. So I'm actually, all I'm going to do is a change X. So again, dark blue motion, and I'm going to choose change X by, let's slow him down, let's make him three, otherwise he's going to go zoom in past and kill us way too easily. All right, now when I do this, there goes the car, excellent, and it drives off the screen and stops. So we need to get one of those if on edge bounce things like this, except we don't actually want the cars to bounce back and forth because cars on a in one lane always travel the same direction. So instead what we're gonna do is, uh, let's just go back to the beginning and press stop. Uh, instead what we're gonna do is we're gonna add an if in here. So as it's changing its X value, as it's going along to the right, we're gonna go to our control and grab an if. And what we want to do is we want to we want to sense if we're touching this edge. And actually, we don't really care which edge it is. We just want to know, are we touching the edge? And if we're touching the edge, then we want to go back to our start location and drive over again. Now, again, this is this is kind of hokey. It's kind of silly and but the easiest way to do this, I'm just going to duplicate that. So now I've got two of those. Okay. And so if we're touching the edge, so it's sort of a Star Trek teleport thing where it's going to drive along. And then when it touches the edge, it's going to teleport back and drive over again. Okay. So this is, again, this is just sort of basic motion. It's not the really advanced version. If you want an advanced version, you can stick around for a later video. But there's the car. And now I can still, my frog is still moving, yay hooray, but one of the things you'll notice is that it doesn't, that nothing happens. It doesn't really, it doesn't really kill um, the frog at all. So what we need to do is we need to, in our next video, we're going to change this regular car into a killer car.